Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more Zero Sievert on the channel. If you've been enjoying the series, how about you leave that like before we get started. Today on Zero Sievert, we're going to be diving into the law, the old motel, let me not trip over my words, the old motel quest line. Now, the old motel is a quest line given to you by the army, the green army. And for that, you need to go into the makeshift camp, eliminate a target, and then collect a secret document from within the motel. The motel is crawling with a mixture of spiders and ghouls, just like the laboratory. So I've decided, because of that, that we're going to be bringing around along the F-90 once more. We'll also keep the ECM on us for any targets that have decent armor, because 31 penetration versus 16. This will be much better against armored targets. So with that spoken, let's dive on in. Let's get to the makeshift camp. All right. Let's see where it spawns the old motel this time. Choo-choo, chugga-chugga, chugga-choo-choo. I love the train. This train is just so cool looking. I, I have an obsession with trains dating back to my childhood. All right, let's head over to the motel. Now, the .50 patch just dropped today. It includes a variety of bug fixes and whatnot, so that's fantastic. fantastic. Oh, soldiers. Okay, you're not hostile. Cool, let's just check the loot while we're here, see what we get. Now, for crafting, I am uh, currently tracking the... I don't remember what it was called. Okay, I already forgot. But, yeah. We did get the forge crafted. Uh, we did do that. We managed to acquire the last bit of materials for that last episode. The forge allows us to loot from it a variety of scrap each day. So that's pretty cool. If I was going to use the N10, this is amazing. I'm going to take it because I'm hoping it sells well. I don't know if it's gonna. we're going to have the inventory space for it. Uh, it'll probably end up getting dropped if we don't. But yeah, the, that stock, I think, sells pretty decently. Um, yeah, here's Mr. Junk. I do need junk from Mr. Junk, but not right now. I want to keep my weight down. Because if, if I remember right, when we first get into the motel's parking lot, there's an infestation, a gold infestation in there that we'll have to deal with. Let's get over here by the fence and... Use some rad pills. I'm going to switch over to the F90 because we should start seeing ghouls here. Yep. Oh, that's not a ghoul. That is more dangerous than a ghoul. Back to the ECM. He was right over here. Where'd he go? There, got him. Where'd that grenade go? Okay, it went over there. Okay, that was a hunter in tier 4 armor. Currently using tier 5, so... Uh, that's a ghoul coming right at me. Hold on, I have to stop looting. Okay. I want to try to get away from the rads while I'm looting, because I do not have a ton. Uh, that's an EC-101. No, I'm not going to take it. Landmines sell really good, but they're heavy. Yeah. So I'm not going to take it. Let's switch back to the P90, the F90, as they call it in this game, and handle these ghouls. I probably don't need to reload as often as I do. It's kind of an old habit I picked up from Call of Duty, playing it as a teenager. I just tend to reload a lot. Oh god, that ghoul may have ruined my life. Bandage, 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 bandage. Reload. Oh, I did not destroy the infestation. Step back. Oh, shit. Reload, reload, reload! Oh god, where's Ben? Where, where's the med kit? 
We're okay. All right. Remember the last time we came here, we got instantly murked by those ghouls. So uh, I'm trying to avoid that fate this time. I'm also trying to see, look at how many ghouls one of these infestations spawn. There's so many of them. Okay, let's switch to the EC. Oh, no more spawn. Okay, there we go. We got the subtask, clearing out the infestation, done. Let's check out this crate up here. Nothing in it that I want. And, uh, yeah, let's head into the... Yeah, my armor is already ruined. That just sucks. Alright, let's head into the old motel. Now, I haven't been able to get better night vision yet. Oh, looks like the power is on here. I did not think it would be. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Alright, let's go into this room, since a ghoul tried to eat us from in here. Now, it's not what we're looking for. Damn ghouls. I think there's one in this room. Two! Oh, shit. Three! Okay, let's check these cabinets. What I am mostly hopeful for is... Rad pills. We are desperately out of radiation pills. I should have probably bought more before coming in here. I didn't think of that. Oh, an MRE. Nice. Yeah, it's the scavengers, uh, scavengers table that we're currently working on for the, uh, for crafting. So that's what we're currently working on. It's the scavengers table. That's what we're working on. I just remembered. We finished the forge, and then I queued up the scavenger's table next. <clears throat> Two game consoles. We only need one for the scavenger's table, so that's really cool. We can sell one, keep the other. Damn it. <laughs> I shouldn't have reloaded there. See? See, my constant habit of reloading gets me in trouble sometimes. Ah. Uh... Okay, let's head on to the other side of the old motel. We're looking for some military documents they left behind here. Okay, we need to take a drink. Let's drink this old milk. Because that should also give us some radiation protection. Yep, cool. I don't know why milk helps you with radiation. I wonder if there's a real-world explanation for that. If you know what it is, and if there actually is a real-world explanation for milk helping with radiation, let me know down in the comments. I'd be interested in finding that out. Or if it's just a video game mechanic, that's also cool. Mm. Owner's work 2 has been completed. Okay, cool, cool. Ghoul! Ghoul, 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 ghouls. Cash and a golden slider, that's cool. That's cool. What's in this box? Oh, it just got dark. That's weird. I can still see though, so that's fine. I think I have enough of those. I'll take some duct tape. I don't have a flashlight on this weapon, but it's not too dark that I can't see. Oh yeah, because it's raining outside. I can hear the thunder now. That's why it got darker. Ah, the key to the Severuski shop in the mall. That is handy. I love how much stuff we can carry now. Nope. Nope, I say to the ghoul. I say no. Okay, I thought there would be spiders in here, but apparently I'm wrong. There's just a ton of ghouls. And it's really not taking us all that long to clear the old motel, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. If I can get not caught on terrain, that would be great. 
Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to save. Okay, what about this save? I don't know if that's really worth it. It weighs two kilograms? Ah, I'm not picking that up. That's too heavy. I can't justify that. Ah, you missed. I missed. We both got caught on terrain. I get you, ghoul. Alright, two rooms left. Holy cow, how many ghouls were in that room? There was like five of them. Alright, that was... that was nuts. Okay, let's go on in. Yeah, there was like five of them in here. There's the documents we need. Let's uh, go visit Mr. Junk, I think, and then uh, extract. Use a med kit. Oh yeah, it's raining. Okay, let's clear our marker here. Where is Xfil? Xfil is here or here. And Mr. Junk is there. Let's head to Mr. Junk. And then we'll get on out of here. I want to pick up some scrap weapons. And Mr. Junk sells those. I want to see if the bug that was afflicting Mr. Junk has been fixed in 0.5 patch. And it hasn't been, that'll be a little upsetting, but you know. I'm kind of starting to get worried that the uh, developers here might be rushing the release of 1.0. <clears throat> because they released their, their timetable today for, for 1.0. And it goes from 0.5 to 0.52 to 0.53 and then straight to 1.0. Like there's no 0.6, no 0.7, none of that on their timetable. So it's kind of worrying that they might be starting to rush. No, nah, Mr. Scrap is still broken. Yeah, Mr. Scrap is still broken. Yeah, that sucks. Because the way it used to work is he'd sell, like, a whole stack, a whole 50 stack at once. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's a full stack. We'll take that with us. It's a pretty good haul. Okay, let's clear the marker. And let's head up north to the extraction point. We'll go to this one up here. I have a laser on this guy. No, I don't. Okay. Eventually, I'll have a laser on these. Uh, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, I almost got myself roasted alive there. That sucked. Woo, boy. Got to be more careful than that. Some, uh, forstal. Pipes. Ammo. Scrap. That's cool to see. Consume the hot dogs. Why not? I Look, I know you can technically eat, like, hot dogs raw and uncooked because they're technically pre-cooked. But, like, for my sake, just so I don't get grossed out, please don't. <laughs> uh, I, I just think that I, I cook all my food. Even if it says it's pre-cooked, I heat it up. I do not trust any, any, I just don't, I just don't. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to consume this coke because we need more energy. Uh, so what's in this hidden stash? I just think that's, like my roommate will eat hot dogs raw occasionally and it's just like, oh, that's weird. But since she's moved in and like, been around me and I've been doing most of the cooking we've we fixed that issue we have um <laughs> I I dearly appreciate you roommate don't kill me when you hear this <laughs> uh, let's dr drop some of this scrap that's fine uh, I need to get out of here hopefully without okay, there's the wolves dealt with And not to mention, I think the AI of the enemies needs a little work. Like, they're kind of dumb sometimes. Kind of curious what's going on down this way. Curiosity kills the cat, though, so I'm just going to keep walking past. 
we're trying to get out. We don't have any radiation pills. The sooner we can leave, the better. That doesn't mean I'm not excited to see the new maps that are going to be coming out with with 1.0. You know, I'm I'm still really excited for those maps. But I'm hoping there's more than just the one map they've announced so far. So far they've only announced Zakov City. I'm hoping they add another map that's like the nuclear reactor site where the accident happened. I mean, I guess in the real world that place would be so hot with radiation that nobody would be able to set foot in there. Uh. Huh. My stash has deleted itself. My stash one has deleted itself. That's, um... That's a bit of a problem. I had a lot of guns in there. Unless... Wait a second. I'm confused. Wait. All my guns are now in stash 5 and 6. Did I put them here? What was in stash 1? Why is it empty? Have I never used stash 1? Am I just losing my mind? I'm gonna have to go back and watch the footage. I think I'm losing my mind. We can keep one of these. Because we only need the one for crafting the scavengers station. Alright, what else do we got for scrap? There we go. I could have sworn we had stuff in stash one. I could have sworn. Wasn't that like a bunch of ammo and guns in stash one? Yeah, I think I just lost all my ammo and some of my guns. That's a bug. That's a serious bug. Okay, I'm gonna have to report that. Um... Yeah, I usually haven't had a problem with with losing anything when the game updates. Uh, I know other folks have. I guess it's time for the bugs to start striking the Wumpus. That is unfortunate. Um, kind of upset. I'm going to have to grind for all those. I mean, we still have our ECM and our P90, right? We're, do we have the Moose still? We have the Moose still. Okay. We have the EC-101 still. We have the EC-74 still, okay. Alright, I guess we didn't really lose much. This looks to be everything I had. But, like, what was here? I feel like I'm missing something now. <laughs> like, my brain's like, what is missing? And I have no idea. Alright, let's finish stocking stuff so we can go sell stuff and turn in quests. And, yeah, finish up today's episode. Let's remember to go buy more radiation pills as well. Let's just sort that by type. Head over to the barman. Fill our hunger and thirst. Trade, would ya? Sell, 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 and sell. And sell that, and sell that. Because I only need one of these for the scavenger kit. That cool. Ten grand made. All right, let's go talk to General Artemovich and turn in the quest, the old motel for that fellow. Let's uh, pull out our P90 and take a photo with General Artemovich here for our... Uh... Why is it not... Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I just... Mm. Sometimes my brain, guys. The old motel. Okay, so we can get an ETS. We have one. We have one... We have a 9x18 moose, we don't have a 9x19, but otherwise the stats are exactly the same, just different damage. So what sells the best? 1.3, 7k, 6.1, 7.6, 6. this sells the best. The missing group. One of our scout, te scout teams has just been attacked by something in the swamp. These are their last coordinates. Hurry up, Hunter, maybe someone is still alive. Okay, so we need to go to the to these swamps. But that is going to wait till next time, guys. This is going to be the end of our episode today. I just wanted to clear the old motel and show you all how to do that. Basically, just a little guide on the old motel. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down in the bottom there. You know, hit that like button. 
If you got any comments, even if it's just a statement for the algorithm, please leave them down below. Got to keep the algorithmic deities of YouTube happy. That's just, you know, my curse. That's just what I have to do for a living, is keep the algorithm happy. So please help me do that by leaving a like and subscribing. I will see all of you guys next time in the next episode where we go into the swamps. At least that's what I think we're going to do. Anyways, if you want to be there for that, subscribe, leave a like, ring the notification button. See everyone next time. Bye-bye.